Good evening, YouTube. Welcome back to the channel. Jack Vader here by my side as always. My main man, Mando. Hey, everybody. Mando, big day today. What's going on today? Today's my birthday. Big, the big 11, right? Yep. All right, so uh, what'd you get, man? Let's get right to it. I got a bike and toxin. Got a sweet bike and toxin. All right, man, so you was out there in that, in that Florida heat today? Yeah. Man, man, hats off to you, my friend. Cause it's bad out there. All right, guys, so what we're doing tonight is something I wanted to do for a little bit now is just an update to the game room. I went back to my earlier videos, and man, oh, man, this place has changed, has it not? Yeah. Okay, so I kind of went through that video, and I wanted to uh, get an update on it. And uh, spent, spent a large portion of the day cleaning this place up because it was a train wreck, was it not? Yeah. We had stuff all over the place. All right, so without any further ado, let's get right into it. Okay, starting over here. These are some of my shelves that I got, okay? So, uh, big wrestling fan, as you all know. Up here, I got my, uh, my uh, with the old school throwback uh, retro, retro style. And I got some of these wrestlers. Most of these guys I have met, the ones that are still alive anyway. Uh, Ron Simmons knows me very well. I see him every year at the WrestleCon, and uh, he's a good friend of ours, right, right, Rando? Yeah. Yeah, so uh, that's pretty cool. Uh, coming on down here, these, these are my, my Transformers legends, man. These are really sweet. So uh, growing up, uh, and I was a big fan of the Transformers Generation 1. You know, I was there right when they were all coming out, and man, they hit, they hit hard. So uh, they killed the GoBots and everything else they had going on at the time. And uh, now a big Transformers fan. I try not to do too much of that on the channel, but uh, but I love that just as much as I love Star Wars. And uh, these are my uh, my Legend shells, Magic Square. These uh, these are the Legend size, the little the little fellas. And these are fully transformable. And man, the engineering on these. If I got to take these back to '85, man, it, it would just blow my mind. Okay, coming on down to the next level. Uh, big wrestling fan. Uh, this this man here, Ultimate Warrior James Hellwig. So he was a bodybuilder, and then he was a, a wrestler, and a very successful one. And when I first came into, uh, came into wrestling, this guy just blew my mind it's, it, with his crazy promos that made absolutely no sense, but many intensity was there. And uh, the physique, the physique just blew me away. This is, this is a guy I wanted to emulate uh, physically, and uh, never had a chance to meet him. He passed away, unfortunately, before I had a chance to meet him, but a big influence on me. So this is, this is my Ultimate Warrior shelf. I try to get as many figures as I can. And the last two shelves here, these are just the, the, the guys of that era, man. This is right before, this is like, I, I don't know what area you would call this, but, but it was right before the Attitude Era. And uh, it was right when I first came in, uh, Andre the Giant, and guys like Doink, and Brutus Bar Beefcake, Hulk Hogan, you know, uh, just go, going down on that list. But uh, just more, more wrestlers. Okay, back up to the top over here. Bring on to the second shelf. Just more Transformers and stuff, just stuff that I can't fit on the shelf. I got this custom Owen Hart here, uh, Sergeant Slaughter. I got this G.I. Joe uh, Comic-Con figure out of his autograph when I, when I had a chance to meet him. And uh, just more stuff from, uh, this is from Mando's youth. There's a lot of the stuff that he used to carry around, he used to love. And that Hellhound he took everywhere with him. Same thing with that Hulk and that, and that Ninja Turtle thing. So these are things I always kept with me. This bad boy here, he threw this on the roof and it probably stayed there. How long did that stay on the roof, Mando? About... Three, four years? Yeah. Three, four years. And then uh, when we finally moved out of there, man, it was still up there. So uh, I, I went up there and finally got it down. I took it with me. So this will stay with me forever. Then it gets a spot on the shelf. Next shelf would be the Autobot shelf. Man, these look great. And uh, then this, th th these are the Autobots, and I mix them with the, uh, the New Age and the Magic Square. So there's two different uh, companies there, but they scale very well. Sometimes you see, like, I got a Jazz here, I got a Jazz here. I just go ahead and get both versions. I just can't help myself sometimes. But I really love these things. Sliding on down, these are more uh, more guys that I grew up on. Some of the stuff in the back, I got autographs. Some uh, some of these ones here in the front, these are just guys that uh, that I used to watch on TV. Same with the next shelf here. Just more guys from that era. And at the bottom here, I have a uh, Sergeant Slaughter Ultimate that I got autographed. So a lot of the stuff uh, that I try to get with the wrestlers, if I can get out there and meet them and get an autograph, uh, I'll, I'll get it. And uh, Hulk Hogan is. Probably the one, like like the, the, the whale that always, that I can't get to. And he's got a shop here in Florida. But I just got to find my way down there. All right, guys, moving along. Over here in the corner, I got a couple things. First, I want to bring attention to these Rambo figures. Okay, so I grew up, I was born in California, but I grew up in, in Italy all through the 80s, okay? And I uh, didn't have access to a lot of figures. And uh, guys were showing up. I went to a DOD school, which was a mixture of uh, guys like me who were mixed between Italian and American and the American kids. So I lived out in town in Italy, and um, a lot of the American kids were showing up with these Rambo figures. And man, I wanted a Rambo figure. So uh, we was on the, the, the we was on the, the Navy Exchange over there, on the base there over there in Naples, and uh, 
and I seen these figures, and man, I threw a fit. I wanted to have them, and uh, I made my stand, and uh, I remember my parents were like, no, you can't have them. We're going to go to uh, Baskin Robbins now. They just opened one up. This, man, this had to have been 85, 86, I don't know, somewhere around there, probably 85. And uh, man, I, I wouldn't even get that. I, I, I made my stand. I, I said I didn't want the milkshake. I wanted, I wanted the Rambo figures. So I, I never got that. I ended up getting both these figures for Christmas that year. And uh, they, they got chewed up. My dog lost the time. But I searched them, tracked them down, got these uh, figures back. So uh, the, these, uh, uh, the, these were very special to me. Uh, back down here would be my game collection. Uh, big, big game fan, and uh, it's all there is, just, just PS4, PS3, I got some PS2, Xbox, and I got all kind of stuff. I got um, some Nintendo 64, anything I get my hands on, I try to, I try to collect game-wise, and I got more stuff back here, more games back here, just, just stacked up, you know, collector's edition and stuff, and some of this stuff's not even open, but I just got it piled up, okay? This shelf right here is just more autograph figures, pretty much everybody here, Booker T, Kevin Nash, I met them all, uh, Diamond Dallas Page, uh, Smash and Axe, Demolition, met all these guys met in person. Down here, I got some, uh, some Star Wars stuff. This would be like my like B, B tier, maybe C tier, just stuff that I got. And, uh, and, and I do like the, uh, the Luke Landspeeder, but I got that over there because of the, um, because of the uh, uh, sand crawler. But uh, not a fan of the sand crawler, okay? Moving right along, guys. You know, just more stuff I got stacked up. I'm getting ready to give away this stuff over here. Not the uh, not the X-Wing, but the, the helmets I'm getting rid of. Uh, more stuff over here. These are all of my Ikea Deltops. And uh, just stuff I got collected up, st stacked up here. And uh, and, and you see it, just uh, six-inch figures, uh, that just, just all through the years. Just, everything's just mixed up. I just got in there, no rhyme or reason. Okay, coming back over here in the corner, far left corner. This is my vintage collection top shelf. This is my A game, my A list, my A listers. I got Boba Fett. I got uh, the the Slave One. I got the uh, Millennium Falcon. Okay, I got the VHS trilogy that I've had since 1998, I believe. And I got the uh, over here the uh, Haslab Katana Sail Barge. I got all that stuff set up here. More vintage collection, more vintage collection AT-ATs. I got this. Uh, Diorama, Endor, I got the uh, Razor Crest, another AT-AT, -A -A and uh, just more uh, figures here in the corner. Just my top shelf. Coming on down over here, here's where my arcade starts, my game room. This, so this is like my, my game room slash toy room, and you'll see I got my I got my figures stacked up, so I got no place to put them right now. I just got these. This is my custom uh, Jack Vader figure, and uh, you're not going to find that in stores anywhere. And uh, here's uh, some of my some of my uh, one-up cabinets. These two over here, bring your attention over here to the corner. These are um, the, they're, they're jailbroken, where they got the uh, the, the multi-game emulators in there. So I got pretty much everything you can think of on there. And you just gotta sit down and go through all the different systems and and got the games on there. So I got two of those, and then I got some of the some of the just regular ones that are un unadjusted. Okay, we're moving all over here in the corner. I got uh, more stuff that I got to get to. This is this is my re two, two review pile that I just haven't gotten a chance to get to yet. So that I'm gonna get to that when I uh, w w whenever I can. Then uh, over here up top, I got the uh, Razor Ramon. Okay, that's one of my favorites, favorite wrestlers, and uh, I got his um, picture, his lithograph over there. Okay, bring your attention over here. This is. This is my, my, my mannequin. This is not really a display. This is my storage, okay? Because, you know, this is uh, my, my uh, expensive suit here, and my, my movie my movie grade suit. And uh, I, I just got that set up to where it's not dragging on the ground and it's not folded up everywhere. And I just put this uh, Ruby Supreme helmet on there just to uh, uh, make, it, make it give it a complete look. So it looks pretty cool like that. So uh, that's how I store my uh, uh, ESD uh, movie accurate Vader suit. Over here, this is my uh, this is my gaming area. So uh, I got my I got my television on the wall. We're watching Monday Night, Monday Night Raw, of course. I got uh, my uh, boxes over here. So these are all like my empty boxes, and I just like setting them up. It just reminds me of a toy shop when I was a kid, and I just love the packaging. So you'll see that all set up there. Okay, bring your attention down over here. This is where my consoles are at, and uh, what you're seeing there that that is a uh, platinum record from Yellow Card, from the Ocean Avenue album. So if you guys don't know, don't remember these guys, they were on the Spider-Man track, uh, Spider-Man soundtrack, 
they hit it bigger from Jacksonville. That's where I'm from. And uh, I was the bodyguard for the uh, the drummer at one point. If you can get a close up on the uh, the the, the, uh, name, the name placard down there, you'll see it. Big Dan, that is my name. Big, uh, big Dan is my my real name. So uh, whenever they hit they hit it big, they went platinum. They went ahead and told the record company, uh, "Go ahead, and make me one too." So uh, that's pretty cool. And I, I dug that up today, and I uh, just wanted to show that off a little bit. Okay, that's when I was young. I was much bigger, much more Jack, more more Vader, more Jack, more Vader. Over here, I got a big pile of, again, there's more stuff I got to get to. I believe that's all my vintage collection carded stuff. And uh, more, more of those are going to be in that box down there. It's a lot. And I just had to have a chance to get through and sort through there and see what I want to do. Okay. Over here, I got more um, vintage collection empty boxes. Like I said, I just got it all stacked up because I just love looking at it. And uh, there's more more one-up arcades. This isn't a one-up arcade. This is made, uh, made by another company. I'm not sure who, but they did the Neo Geo. And uh, this is just another system that I enjoyed that I grew up on in the arcade. I love it. So uh, Tron, uh, a big one in the arcades when I was young. Over here in the corner, I got the uh, Vader cutout. It's pretty cool. So he just stands over there in the corner. Then I got a couple more arcades that are some, some of my favorites growing up on in the uh, in the um, arcade. So just uh, just just... Uh, got them all set up in my game room. That's the X-Men uh, one-up arcade, and this is the uh, Golden Axe uh, Sega Sega one-up. And these these have multiple games in there, but they, they don't have the emulators like the other ones. But it's got like four games. Like this one has Altered Beast, Shinobi, Wrestle War, and Golden Axe, and uh, and uh, the Golden Axe Sequel Death Adder. Uh, this one here is one of my favorites. Uh, Mortal Kombat one, two, and three. So. Uh, yeah, we, 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 we get on this one pretty good. So this one, uh, one, one of the best uh, fight, fighters of all time. So uh, that's going to be, that's gonna be the, the, the game room tour. So what we're going to do now, I want to bring your attention to the, uh, to the uh, lightsabers. Let's go ahead, man. We'll go ahead and start lighting them up. <laughs> Taking forever. We'll get to it. Figure that one out. The big one. The other one. Couple. There you go. Almost there. Just tap it. I'll do this one. Get a good shot at that. We, uh, that's going to be your lightsaber hand salute, and uh, and that'll take us out. So uh, let's go ahead and uh, take us out tonight. My man. Everybody, may the force be with you. May the sun be in your face and the wind be behind your back. May the force be with you. You guys have a good night.